Welcome back to Poem Mr. Channel. In this video, we will demonstrate and explain how to complete the power connection and the configuration of the Poem Smart PL3 series all-in-one solar inverter. Installation preparation: First, mount the three inverters on a wall, ensuring they are installed at the same horizontal level and leaving adequate space between the units for heat dissipation. Next, mount the battery's positive and negative bus bars on the wall and install circuit breakers for simulated grid inputs and low lights. Then remove the port covers for each inverter. Once removed, you will see the terminal blocks for the various connections on each inverter. Arrange the front left to right as follows. AC input port, AC output port, battery port, and PV input port. Battery connection. Start by connecting batteries. Connecting the positive and negative terminals of each inverter to the respective positive and negative bus bars. It is crucial to ensure that the wiring between each inverter and the bus bar is of equal length to prevent voltage inconsistencies caused by different in light resistance. Then connect the bus bar to the battery, ensuring a 300 ampere DC circuit breaker is installed between the bus bar and the battery. Finally, Install the bus bar cover to prevent direct human contact and protect against short circuit or arc faults caused by foreign objects. AC input and output connection. Next, connect the AC input lights. Link the AC input ports of each inverter to the three phase grid. The L1 port of each inverter connects to the L1 lights of the grid. L2 ports connect to the L2 light, L3 ports connect to the L3 light, and ports connect to the neutral light. For the AC output lights, connect the corresponding inverter output ports to the respective low circuit. The L1 ports connect to the L1 light, the L2 ports connect to the L2 line, the L3 ports connect to the L3 line, the M ports connect to the neutral line. Grounding Proceed to connect the ground lights. Connect the grid's ground light to the grounding ports of each inverter's AC input. Then connect the ground port of each inverter's AC output to the load circuit's ground light to ensure safe grounding of the load. Finally, use the grounding ports at the bottom of the inverter to ground the inverter's casing. This ensures that in the event of an internal fault causing the casing to become live, the ground connection will safely discharge the leakage current to the earth, preventing electric shock if the casing is touched. PV Array Connection Connect two independent PV arrays to each inverter. Do not connect the same PV array to multiple PV input ports or inverters. Since the internal bus bars of the devices are not isolated, Sharing one PV array across multiple inverters will cause the bus bar to behave like a short circuit. This can create a feedback loop throughout the PV ports of the inverters, leading to irreversible damage to the main board. Communication Connection Finally, establish communication between inverters using the communication cables included in the inverter's packaging. Connect the COM1 ports of one inverter to the COM2 ports of the next inverter. Configuration and Startup After verifying that all connections are secure and correct, 
reinstall the port covers and inverters, close the battery circuit breaker, and prepare for power system configuration. Turn on the first inverter using the rocker switch at the button. Then navigate to setting 31 and set it to PAL. If the buttons are unresponsive and you cannot enter the settings, the inverter may already be in inverter mode. In this case, simply turn off the rocker switch at the button to stop the inverter and allow the settings to be adjusted. Alternatively, you can quickly assess the settings after powering on the inverter but before it enters inverter mode. Repeat this process for the other inverters. Ensuring the other inverters are powered off while configuring each one. Once all inverters are set to PAL, restart them in sequence. The first inverter powered on will automatically be designated as the master. This master displayed it on its main screen. If no error message appear, the power system setup is complete. You can then close the PV input, AC input, and AC output breaker sequently to start the system under load. This concludes the power wiring and configuration guide for the Pulsar Smart PL3 all in one solar inverter. We hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.